Hello, welcome to the second video of uh, configuring Emacs. So in the last video we started configuring uh, the Emacs. So in this video we will uh, continue to do so and we will see how to configure uh, uh, the config files and everything. So let's get started. So this is our init file. Let me load the odd files also. So apart from whatever we have done last time, so we will start from uh, some of the dictating some of the variables here. So one of the thing that I do like to change is the way uh, whenever some form comes, we need to write yes or no in order to do the answer. So I don't have to try type each time the exact word. So in order to fix that, we can do one thing like this. So this will actually change the behavior of uh, the yes and no form and you can write only yes or n so there are ways to make it only uh, say yes all the way yes every time uh, I don't personally like it so let's set it up like this and also some cosmetic things display time mode and so this is just for time in battery in the lab if you're using on a laptop mode and And I would like to have the column number listed as well. Now let's test it. Now you can see that the this buffer actually contracts. That's because we are all the time we are doing toggle max frame maximized. So it will keep on toggling. So that's a thing we can fix it later. As of now, I'm going to keep it the same. Now, this is some of the basic things. Now, apart from this, I would like to start something, uh, set it up uh, something called as IDO. So, so, so this IDO means interactive do. So it is a helpful feature to help you uh, find files and all these things to interpret interactively. Uh, now let's see how to do it. So uh, probably I had more uh, describe description and here I'll add the codes. So this way it will be easier for the markdown uh, anyway so let me start with slips and all so let me do with this IDO mode. I'm just enabling it, and I would like to keep the IDO mode everywhere. Now, uh, let's see how this thing actually works. So, 
if you see now if I do this but it is uh, let's just uh, define other things because although it's variable is defined like this but we need to do some more thing to get the full features IDO enable flex matching set queue IDO use file name at point along with that uh, create new buffer so we'll do it always because we want to create the new buffers and it's always uh, possible to sort the files while doing the IDO now that can be done like this like dot org I would like to sort it first and let's say then the txt files then maybe csv file that's uh, order i would like it to get solved always so in summary so we have idea everywhere flex matching enabled use file name at point i'm guessing it so then the always and i'm creating new buffer and the file extensions sorting is also done so let's test it out whether it works okay so there is a problem in the init file yeah spelling mistake was there let me open the init file now now as we can see that previously when we were actually opening so this uh, thing wasn't coming like this so whatever the contents of the di directory here it's actually coming so i can do one thing i can press the arrow keys down or up or on the sideways in order to navigate this okay so this is something i would like to have whenever i am creating something new or I'm trying to find a file or let's say even if you do something like OR so here I want to go to the .org file so if I just type OR it goes there so that's uh, uh, one of the thing that is useful pretty much and other things are includes like if the file name is there and uh, it's not there in the present directory it tries to guess it by doing uh, this uh, guesswork create new file it will always create a new file so I'm not this uh, kind of uh, doing all these things but this is how it basically works so uh, that's about the most of it so hope you guys liked it and thanks for watching